which you're looking at there, is a parcel just arrived today. And I love opening parcels, like a lot of us do. I'm sure of it. I can't be the only one. Well, in here is my camera that I've been looking forward to. It's a new one, the new type, the new DJI Osmo. It's been out just over a year. So apparently they've got all the kinks out of it. And uh, it's supposed to be an all singing, all dancing camera competing against the GoPro, they say. I don't know. Because myself, for the past seven, eight years, I've been using Drift. And I still have, well, it's not the first Drift camera I had. This one here. The second one, the HD Ghost. I think this was the first Ghost out, you know. And it's been surviving until now. Last week when I turned it on to do my rear blogging on my motorbike, it said I'm not going to work. And it didn't. And it's a shame really because we have seen many places, we've done many travels with it, but now, alas, poor Yorick, it is defunct. So now I'm going to open the box and I'm excited because I've been waiting for this for some time. I live out in sunny Vietnam, or oh, at the moment, today's sunny, but the past six weeks, no way, Jose, it's been raining every day. Okay, now to open up the package. I have to say, it's well double wrapped. Ta -da! Here we are. Oh my God. Osmo Action. DJI. And what's the buff here? Oh yes. Celebrating its rock steady. Dual screen. 4K HDR. Waterproof. 1080 times X. Is that magnification? And it was a 4K, 60 frames a second. That's good. What I'm using this one mainly for is when I'm doing handheld shots or on a gimbal. Because on that, I used to use my phone. But I think I want to use this because I also want to use it on the, on the bike, doing various shots around the bike, especially the rear, seeing the back wheel turn around, get some shots like that incorporated into the video to make it a bit more exciting. But as I said, I've been using drift cameras most of the time and I never turned to uh, the GoPro, mainly for one reason, well, two actually. One is the battery. They don't last very long, do they? Hour, hour and a half. And then uh, the second one is, is all the scaffolding you need. I don't need to bore you with that. You probably get a lot of people who don't like uh, GoPro. But that's the only thing I have about it that I don't like. But the camera itself, I wouldn't knock it. But I got the new Ghost 4K Plus. And this thing is a lot smaller than this, the original one. Now, as you see, this one's got a screen on it, this one doesn't. But you can get a side. This is a battery, an external battery. You can take that off and you can put a module in there, LED screen. You can do that if you want to. Or you can put a bigger battery on, if you want to, which I'm going to do. I'm going to get another one. And, but anyway, that, I like it. Now, the only thing with this one, I'm going to let you know if anybody does have one of these or thinking of getting one of these, is it doesn't have a remote control with it. For the life of me, I have no idea what Drift are thinking about. They've had a remote control for their cameras going way back and right up to the X, the XL, and the 4K. Now to bring out the 4K Plus with no remote control. They said you can use your phone as a remote control. Yep, yeah, okay. I don't think any of them are bike riders, are they? If you're out there on a motorbike and you're bombing around, you know, doing your bumps and your tricks and your ever what, have you got time to switch phone, uh, the camera on, camera off, or do anything? No, you haven't. 
it's much easier to have a remote control where you can touch it with your glove on or anything. Not try and put this or have your phone on your bike. I don't think I would like to do that because most of us have, you know, expensive phones and we don't want to get them smashed up with an expensive camera at the same time. Yes? That's my beef about that. Bit sad, but uh, there you are. But I use that camera mainly for direct photographing work or video working. But I want this one to do those little jobs around the bike, like on a uh, selfie stick. You know, you've got someone on the back of the bike, they've got it on a selfie stick, and they can hold it and get those different angles, especially when you're in a countryside or going through a mountain. Because where I live, there's mountains all around me. And in my future videos, I'll be uh, doing a lot of work on that. So do subscribe. And do have a look at them and I hope that you will be pleased because I'm going to advertise Vietnam. That's where I live at the moment. So let's open this box up. <laughs> I think if there was a heart monitor on me it'd be pounding away because uh, I like new things. I love gadgets, you know. And the read up on this camera is, is uh, well, it's been just good news. That's all I can say about it. How'd you open this box up? Oh, yes, I see. Not your traditional way. Okay. Oh my God, they're tiny. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We should have a drum roll. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. I mean, isn't that neat? I've been doing photography for like, I don't know, over 30, 40 years. And uh, it's my living. But your SLR cameras, your Nikons, your, your Canon, which I use, they're big. And I've even used a Hasselblad, which is even bigger. And now you've got something as tiny as this, and it's shooting in 4K. I mean, that's unreal. That is totally, totally and utterly unreal. I'm amazed. Now, I know nothing about this camera. I don't know how to operate it or anything, but then again, that's the exciting bit, isn't it? Get the instructions out. Us men love reading instructions, don't we? Yes? Yeah, you're all lying. We don't. We just like to pick it up and go through it. It's a good way of doing that as well. Just pick something up, go through it, see what you know, see what you can find. Because, how the hell do you open this one up? Because when you do do that, you start to find things out. So when you're reading instructions, you go, oh, yeah, that's what they're on about. They're on about that thingamajig with the whatchamacallit. Yeah, okay. There we are. Oh, yeah. The lead. All right, there's a lead in there. There is, believe me. All right, open it here, Eric. Okay, that's obviously its charging lead. That's its charging lead, and that's its nut and bolt. <laughs> Reminiscent of GoPro scaffolding, but doesn't really matter because I've got a mount for this that I'm going to use and it's going to be very simple and you've got the instructions inside there, right there. I don't know how many thousand languages it's in there. Oh, you've got a little thing there. Some app you're going to download, I dare say. And there's your, oh uh, my God, it's cards. <laughs> no, no, it is. It's in, it's in different languages. There's guys you've got like Korean, French, etc and probably uh, English oh English you've got English you've got eight pages eight pages not really you've got seven yeah you've got seven pages of English and all the rest is in other languages enjoy but as I said this camera has been out just over a year and uh, in that time, it's had its teething problems, like most things do. And uh, it's getting it sorted out. The other thing they have got sorted out, I've uh, discovered in my questions, is that um, 
you now can fit on a unit on the side and you can plug in an external microphone. There's been some problems with that, but the latest upgrade, only this last month, it's January now, January the 6th, to give you an idea. So in December, I think the 20th or something, it came out. Uh, they've upgraded it, it's firmware on it, and now apparently it works. So that's good news for most of us. But I'm not too worried about it because I'm not going to use it for that at present. I'm just going to use it, an external microphone, microphone, duh, external camera around a bike. But when I start doing my walkabouts, this is the one I'm going to use. The, the reason is, you can put that on your gimbal and you've got a screen there. And then you can look at what you're seeing with the camera see, which is great. These you cannot. It points that way, and that little screen there is just a menu screen. So you have to get your phone attached to your gimbal to look at that. No, no, so uncomfortable. So I'm thinking this would be a lot easier, it's a lot lighter, and it also does a lot, a lot of work. So in the next month or two, I will work on this, find out all these ins and outs, it's goods and it's bad. I think there'd be a lot of good on it because I don't like talking negative. If something's bad, well, the other camera's going to have something bad with it. There's nothing perfect, as the Japanese say. Um, so I will give you a lowdown on what it can do. And probably, and hopefully, it will whet your appetite. While we're talking about this camera, oh, I didn't see that. Okay. I have no idea. That's going to go on to something, and then something's going to go on to that, so it's, no, it's not going to be, ah, 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 this, oh yeah, he says confidently, that comes off, and then I can go on there, <laughs> and then you've got it stuck on somewhere else, okay, yeah. Well, I don't like sticking things all around my bike. I've got a clamp thing, and uh, oh, it's brilliant. I shall show you, okay? This is it, the clamp thing. You can clamp this on anything, this here. And what I like about it, these rubbers, they move around, you see? And then you've got rubbers on the inside, so when that's pressing up against it, these can then do the job on the outside. And then the head, is unbelievable. You can move it in any direction you want and then you have the top piece that also does the same thing. So your camera with these ones you have to turn it around so that is lined up with the horizon, yes? With the drift you've got that separate, you can turn your lens around so you don't have to fart ass around too much. But with this thing you can do it with just one simple device not all that other contraption that you're building up. Those with GoPros will know what I'm talking about. You just fix that on the end. You put the piece on there, you screw that on and you put that on. I don't have one here at the moment, but you know one piece. You put that on and it works. It's great. And it's metal or aluminium. Or as Americans would say, aluminum. It's not aluminum. Speak English, man. So, that's it. And, oh, I bought some uh, covers to protect the lens. A little bit concerned about being so big and large, but one thing nice about it, if you do damage the lens, you can unscrew it very easily. Just unscrew it, take it off, and on you go. Here, protectors, screens, like you put on your phone. You have three in here in this box because you have a front screen on it. So when you do selfies, if you wish, or when you've got it on a selfie stick and you're uh, putting it out in front of you and you want to know if it's at the right angle looking at you on the bike or anywhere, that screen's going to come in handy. The stick that I bought is by a company called Telesin. It's 90 centimeters in length when it's fully out, but it's only like, uh, in the life of me, I forget, 10 inches, if of what that is. <laughs> I forget in centimeters. 
Anyway, Ed, uh, let me show you. It's aluminium, this thing is. And it is solid and extremely light. Anyone uh, read Japanese? That's it there. Underneath you have a switch and uh, I don't know if you can see that, there's a lock. So you turn it around like so, now it's unlocked. That means these can fold down, you turn it again, now they're locked, so now you've got a tripod. You've got to stand for your camera. You've got this contraption here, but that's for you, go, you put your phone on there, so, because in this box here is this thing. So you can screw that on, okay, or screw it on there, and you can have your camera there. So what your camera is seeing up there, you can see it here. That's the idea of that. You know? But this thing you twist, and then it extends to 90 centimeters. And then you twist there, oh, and now it's all, it's all locked. All locked. Ding, it's, it's quite long, 90 centimeters, you know. It's big lads. And then just lock it there, all locked up. So unlock this down here. Oh yeah, that can come off if you don't want that on. So you've got that separate. I do not know what those two holes are for. No idea. But you can put that back on another pole and then you can have it even raised up higher if you wish, I suppose. Anyway, or you can just use it like that. But it's comfortable even with uh, this on. So. I like. That goes with the piece that I just chucked down here. That can go on there, you see, so you can put your camera on there or something else in there. Or you can fix that on the top of here, like so. That goes in there. And that can go on there, so you can use your camera, phone, if you wish. Why would you when you got one of these? Oh, yes. Right. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. If there's any questions, please do not hesitate and ask. Those who ask will find out. Those who don't ask will be kept in the dark. No, serious, ask questions if you wish. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. I like to make more. As I said, I will, in the next four weeks or so, I will do videos on this fella and show it out, show it off, and tell you all what I think about it. I have also purchased a waterproof case for it as well, because I don't care when they say it's watertight, because I had a camera, this one here, the XL, that supposed to be waterproof, and I was caught at a storm coming down a mountain. And I mean a real wet, rainy storm, everything was thrown at you. The waterfalls coming down that mountain was unbelievable. It was like rivers coming down it. But this supposed to be waterproof. This is supposed to be go underwater for a meter or something like that. And I'm thinking, well, it should be okay. Anyway, when I got down to the bottom, alas, no longer work. I opened up the case. When I got home, there was water inside somehow. It switches on but it don't do a thing. It can't read cards anymore. And uh, the Wi-Fi doesn't work on it anymore. So that's it. But the company I bought this from, I told them about it. They're a station in Hong Kong. So anyway, they said, we'll give you this. Not free, I just paid the extra. So they deducted the cost of the XL off this camera, and I got this camera. For no more, the only more price was the shipping to get it over, $30, to get it done quick. That's all I paid for. And I thought, what a company is like that, that's brilliant. 
I'm really chuffed with them. Right. That's enough for me waffling. See you guys. Take care. Stay safe. And those bike riders out there, keep the two wheels on the ground, okay? Bye.